Hi, my name is Seo Chang. I'm a creator of a Fluvio uh, open source project. So what is a Fluvio? Uh, Fluvio is the uh, sort of next generation of stream processing uh, platform. Um, you can sort of think of it as the sort of a copper and a flink. Um, and it's very similar to DuckDB, trying to be very simple, with no dependency, and, and uh, be very efficient. So, so I think we think it's, this is a very powerful combination, having kind of two that work together with the same kind of philosophy. So um, do we kind of share the same kind of uh, approach? Uh, you know, first of all, it's uh, kind of a fully open source. The Ruby has the, it has a large, uh, a lot of uh, components, but they're you know, all, all open source. We are Apache 2. And, it's very, and of course, most important is very fast and small. It's a fully retaining of us. And the demo that I'm going to present is actually the is uh, is retaining a Rust extension. Um, has a, a CLI, and it, because of Rust, you can take advantage of all. It can integrate into other ecosystem, very smart to uh, DuckDB. So we have like a node binding, Java, Python, Go. Okay. So how does we can think that the Fluvia can work with the uh, uh, DuckDB? Well, the Fluvio, because of stream processing, we can help sort of ingest the real-time data. Um, it can do uh, light transformation. Uh, it can also do, of course, the outbound, outbound as well. I'm sorry, the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, and of course, uh, we can, the Fluvio can uh, uh, ingest the data from uh, database like the Postgres, uh, S3, and so forth. But it can also, because of uh, stream processing, it can ingest the uh, data from uh, things like uh, IoT devices uh, and uh, or you know machine learning systems. And, and uh, things that we can do, things like the CVC, uh, replication, and so forth. Uh, but let's oh, before uh, let's do the demo first. Yeah. Yes, I demo I'm gonna do is actually trying to uh, uh, digest the uh, NQTP uh, data from city of Helsinki. Can you uh, make it a bit uh, bigger? Oh, sorry. I hope you can see this from here. Can you see it? Yeah. No, there's not. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay, that's fast. All right, so city of Helsinki has the, basically, they transmit the data about their uh, bus system. Um, through NQTT. And what we're gonna do is gonna start this uh, uh, super connector. And it's a Fluvio type CLI. So, so start ingesting data. And we can actually uh, watch this data live. So this is, uh, so every time there's a bus moving, there's a train station moving, it's coming in real time. So we're ingesting this real time. So there's a lot of data. So what we're gonna do, all right, so that's, while we're doing that, we're gonna start this Duck TV and do, let me just see this. Fortunately, I'm building this on my source code. There we go. So this is our extension, this is retaining Rust. And first of all, what I'm gonna do is, now we can actually. Did you maybe also enlarge this one? Uh, sure. Is it better? Yeah. Almost. How about this one? Alright. Alright. Because I always forget on the Alright. So we actually in just a sixty thousand events. And we can actually see we do it, we're incrementing. 
So okay. the next thing I do is actually watching this one here live here. And if you see this one here, this is uh, some of the rocks that uh, if, you, if you're familiar with the city of Helsinki. Right? Mm -hmm. So now we, because this tabular coma is not going to be that, uh, you know, see the detail, but let's put that in a GC mode and do the same thing. And there's a JSON structure coming right here. Okay. And what I do is go back to this one here. So the next thing is I'm going to do is, is that uh, Fluby allow you to like to transform data on the real time. So this is actually uh, the transformation engine. This is retaining WebAssembly. I like to transform this on fly. And this transform is done in the, in the Fluvia cluster, which can be in running on local or it can be in a cloud. So it's actually near to the data. It's going to be very fast. And the purpose of this is to pick up this few data that uh, doesn't need it because you can see there's a lot of data here. So the first thing is reduction of we want to pick those data. So we do is this 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 here. Make sure that I copy this the right way. Okay. And you can see instead of these other a lot of fields, the only now pick up the latitude, longitude, and raw and speed. So actually we do some amount of data coming to uh FDB. And now I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna do a little more uh, sophisticated, which is to full extension to actually map this into SQL tables because it's a JSON. So okay, so it's now mapped as a SQL table. Now then in that case I can do very uh, interesting statistics like. Compute the speed of a vehicle group by the route. Mm -hmm. So that now we can do SQL because previously the flu bit couldn't do the SQL. Now we leverage the power of DuckDB to do SQL transformation. Um, of course, that you know one of the things that kind of that thinks the next thing is to improve some of the performance because this data can be large, so trying to optimize it. So I already have the sort of a kind of a load this. Uh, copy this data into another table, just the same one, except it's uh, probably a few um, hours of work. So you see this at two million. And then we can do a lot. Now you can see a lot of routes here. Okay. Okay, so that's part of the demo. And and there's a lot of more uh, things that we think we could do with uh, DuckDB, but uh, Looking for feedback. Yeah, so looking for ideas and uh, other kind of interesting integration point. Thank you.